time to go take a bath. And I turned this on. Oh, but this turned on. Because somebody didn't switch it back after they and that left the um, water thing on that. thought that was me. Again, we just left our Airbnb or we're going to the train station. And we're going to have fun on Kyoto day number two. We're at the bus stop waiting for the bus. nice Japanese people make lines. They just wait so patiently. It's beautiful. This is a necessity. This is pretty nice too. Bustling. I think Ella was waiting for the nod. I know, they didn't give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> waiting chairs. Like so we noticed in our snaps that we have really big for no I already knew I already had a big forehead. Yeah. But like we have five heads. Five heads. Five heads. The gates of Fushimi and Ari. Is this the thing? I can't tell. I mean I don't know. It looks it looks very touristy to me but what do you think? I think we might be in the wrong spot. That's I don't know that wouldn't be stuff. too unusual. So we'll see. <laughs> But look at all the food booths. You know, I love those. I think it's because it's like being at a carnival. I feel like I'm at a carnival all the time and I love carnival. I think she's performing a tea ceremony or something. Oh, I think that sign also says no pictures. Like rows and rows and rows. Oh, traffic jam. Traffic jam. I wonder what it says. Wow, rows and rows and rows and rows. If only we could have taken the road less traveled. Instead, we're stuck in a line. <laughs> So I just read on Wiki that each of these Tories are donated by a Japanese business since Inari is like a but I'm not quite sure how reliable Wiki is, but Ella just read that this place is dedicated to the gods of, should we go over this? Yeah, why not? To the gods of rice and sake. Since I'm a little crippled with my sprained ankle. Ella went to go on a little adventure, but then I did some reading and I found out that a lot of business people will come here at the beginning of the new year to get blessings for their enterprises. It kind of reminds me of when I walked the Great Wall of China. It just keeps going and going and going. Oh, look, nature. Look. And more big fish. It's amazing. You know, once. I got a goldfish that I won at a carnival, and I grew it for like a really long time, like three years. It was like this. I just thought I'd tell you that little story because that's what that fish reminded me of. Look. It's almost like bunk beds or like tree houses. Our friends! <laughs> In the mountains! We walked through the shrine. Of course. A vending machine. Picture of a taking a picture of a taking a picture. Taking a picture of a taking picture. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of all of them. I'm left out. Look. Camera. <laughs> camera. <laughs> camera. <laughs> we made it to a lookout point. Thought we needed some sustenance, so yeah. we got ice cream. This is soybean and vanilla flavored. Ice cream makes every journey way better. <laughs> hmm, this kind of looks like the leftover center. <laughs> Ooh, maybe people buy these little things to like give to each shrine. I don't know. So some people decorate their foxes by putting little scarves on them. The foxes are messengers. 
We made it to the top. This is the shrine at the top. It looks just like the shrine we were just at. <laughs> but it was higher. Gonna say a prayer at the top. Look at our hair matches. <laughs> We're on top of the world. Instructions for the foreigners. I'm getting better. Oh, look, it's eel. Cook, they're cooking eel. We should get some. Followed our noses into this shop. It's a Belgian waffle shop. I had to get one. Yeah. Um, so this train just dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. And we asked them how to. We asked the people at the train station how to get exactly to the place we wanted to get to, and they told us to take this train, and it just dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. And we've entered the Rojanji Garden. I think I said that right. I don't know, but it's really pretty. I bet if the cherry blossoms were open right now, woo, that'd be nice. Look at these cute little flowers. Look at this pretty tree behind me. It's so vibrant. They smell nice too. The sun is coming out. It's beautiful. This little exhibit even says things in Braille, but not in English. Hey! Look at how beautiful. A perfect lines are raked. You have to take your shoesies off. We're waiting for the bus in this cute little town. Gonna get so once again. We got on the wrong bus, going the wrong direction, and now we are in the country. Or no, I don't know. Some we're in some small town, but we had to get on the bus and go the opposite direction. It's okay. It's nice. It's it's a good way to explore the random parts of Japan that no one else would see. You know that you're somewhere out in the boonies when the uh, when the chairs start looking like this. Oh yeah, bus stop seats right there, baby. See, would you would you have seen mountains like this? No, I don't think so. It came. Yay! Yay! See, at least we know for sure we're going in the right direction now because you just have to go in the wrong direction to figure out what's the right direction. Sort of like life. Uh huh. See, another reason why Wi-Fi, pocket Wi-Fi is good. So you can see on the map that you're going the wrong way. So that means you should ask the bus. This lady was so nice. She was helping us get directions to our next station. And she wrote us a little note of how to get there. <laughs> Look guys, hot yoga all the way over here in Japan. We're in the hot yoga studio. And unfortunately, this place pretty much does it by month membership, so, or, yeah, so. This is interesting on the wall. A grace is given to your skin. A blood circulation improves. Look at how cool this restaurant is. It's like you 
should get your own little food. Here's our restaurant pick for the night. We found this place on Yelp as well. And we don't really know how to do it. We're watching people to try and learn. Because there's like things that you dip and put inside. I've never eaten udon without a, a soup spoon. This is a new experience. It's great. This is our new friend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really cool udon eating experience because it was so different than any type of udon I've ever had before. First of all, you take your noodles and you only put them in the soup right before you eat them, like one at a time, like bite, bite, bite. That was interesting. Oh yeah, and like tempura didn't come with tempura sauce. You, you're just supposed to eat it as an appetizer. Like, they don't have the tempura dipping sauce. There was no kamaboko in my udon. I was a little sad about that, but overall, it was great. We're trying this new dessert. I think it is a bean and mochi looking thing. I don't know. It's like reverse mochi. The bean is on the outside, and then the, mo the, 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 the rice cake is on the inside. It's good though. Kyoto at night. Next stop. Rejected. They were closing. Womp womp. It looks so cool in there. These look interesting. Hmm, should I go for that one? So I don't know why they don't sell these back in the States, because it's amazing. Coconut milk. You know what I like about Japanese people? When you ask them for help, they will go to all ends to try and help you. Even if they don't know. As usual, we don't quite know where we are going. We're trying to find the bus stop so we can get back. So we can take our train to Osaka. train station. They have water shows. With all the life. I tried to take a nap on the train but it was an express one and we're already here in Osaka. I think I might die here. It's so cold. I know that's not cold for some of you but I'm for reason. Dude, this place is empty. It's like a ghost town. Well, that's Ella. But besides Ella, there's like no one so look at the size of this apartment compared to our last apartment that's like $50 more expensive. This is our little This is our bath. Bath. <laughs> look at she can reach out the walls. <laughs> that's our bathtub. Look at our baby sink. Go ahead, Ella. Stand next to our baby sink. It's like a play sink. A play kitchen. So cute. It sure is. It's like a perfect size apartment for me. But what is great about this place? It comes with snacks. Free snacks. What kind of snacks? And you know I love them.